Alrighty. Nice truck. Coming up next week. Nice car. Enrique did a nice job. Oh, I got laundry detergent in here still. Enrique did a nice job on the seat. There was a separation at the seam. Right there. And he got it. Looks great. Okay. On the way to the gym. And today, I've got somebody picking up the 67 Jeep Wagoneer. I did a video of the guy picking up the... Ah! So anyways, I did a video of the guy picking up the 87. Now the 67 is going. So it'd be nice to be rid of both of those. Although I like them. I'm not saying that. Man, every day that I come to this gym, I forget something. It's whether it's a towel or... Uh, and it's because I'm trying to multitask and I've got a meeting in an hour. And they were going to be here at 1. It's 12.30. I said, hey, you going to be here still at 1? Oh, we're going to be more 1.30, 1.45. Well, okay, we'll make it 1.45 to 2 then. We're going to get out here. We got 340 horse. We can get in line. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so. I, I, I said I got to take off. We'll only make it 1.45 to 2. And I'm on the road to go to the gym. I'm feeling a lot better about it, even though I just feel totally... Shouldn't feel this way. I feel totally guilty leaving my work. I do. I don't want to leave my work. Why would anybody ever leave work? And the answer most certainly is to go work out. <laughs> and that's what I did. So, on the workout, feeling good and about it. Feel, Matt, see that I said it. I said it when I voiced it there. It wasn't just saying it. I actually feel a little bit good about this workout and being in it and going for it 100% two weeks ago not so much you'll hear me talking I trick myself into working out I don't want to go nobody wants to go work well maybe somebody does not me I do I don't I trick myself in the first oh three to seven workouts this depends on how long it takes my lazy ass to get the feeling. Fuck, you're busy. Okay, well, thanks for watching. I'll record the Jeep thing next. Should be a good time. I have known... Well, I know the girl. I know the girl. I know all the girls. No, I don't know all the girls. But I know the girl from... Fuck. What? 25? <laughs> almost 30 years when I was a kid and she's her and her husband bought the 67 from me all right done with the gym on the way to go meet them it's 146 should be there right before two o'clock and can meet up and get rid of that damn Jeep I've had it a long time I hate to get rid of it I wanted it to be one of my restoration projects it just couldn't be. Are you serious, people? Everybody's gonna stay in that lane, huh? You guys are just dumb as shit. I'm not gonna do that. I'm taking the inside lane. Jeez. You know, it happens a lot. I just can't stand it when like eight people are in this lane and one's in this lane. Yeah, I mean, if you had to get a Dodge to get a green truck, I ain't gonna do that, that's for sure. Single cab dually. You don't see that very often either. I don't know what they're going to be hauling this thing away in either. But. Bing, bing, bing. This car is nice. I've wanted one for a while. The only thing on this car that's not what I wanted. Is it rear wheel drive? Hang on. I think they are. Huh, I don't know. 
Nice card. The only thing about this one that I would have wanted different is, believe it or not, I want a manual. I'm going to be on the lookout. If you can have one at a time, you can have three at a time. Okay. Hey. I'll get the truck in here. What do you got? Just a trailer or a tow dolly or what? I got a trailer. Um. I don't know if I get that thing. Come on, I can back a Greyhound bus in here. <laughs> it's a wicked turn. Back it in, go ahead. We could pull it out too. That's what I was going to do is hook it onto this and just yank it out with a strap. Alright. But whatever works. Let me pull this in. Yeah, that's a hell of a. Ah! I don't know. <laughs> Be easier to pull the. One down, a couple to go. Do you see how it uh, was running the stuff in the video and all? No. Okay. Well, it's going to be interesting to see if we can get it on a trailer because it's like hunky junky because it needs that carb and it's like misfiring and yeah. you've got to rev it up and put it in gear a little and I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I could probably get the trailer. Oh, yeah, we can come in here. I'll, I'll, what I think I'll do is back that excursion out and put the strap on it. Okay. And we can pull the Jeep out and get it right in here. Okay. And you can just back up to it or something. I just can't block yeah, I know. this yeah. one. We're fine where we are now, but. Hey. It's not really that big, but I'll make you a smoking deal on this one. And I did get another one since last time I talked to you. That um, Cadillac over there. Nice. But Very I'm nice. not going to have my daughter driving a Cadillac. Tiny Cadillac. I'll have to look at it. Not a big Cadillac. Not a big Snoop DeVille or nothing. It's going to be 16. This is cool. I like that little Audi, but... The Audi's really cool. I mean, not as cool as a Cadillac or nothing. No, don't move the truck yet. If he gets too far out, though, we're not gonna where he was. <laughs> I mean, if he gets in here, we're not going to be able to pull the truck out. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> you get this thing in here, we're not going to be able to pull the truck out, though. Oh, that's true. I got to back the excursion, and then, yeah, we... Where do you want me to put it? You want me to put it over here? It could be where it was, or it could be right in front of him, up towards the thing. All right. Well, I'll put Sorry, we'll be out of your way in a second. That's right. They block me in every time I go. Every time I come out to go to the gym or something. I leave twice a day. Every time I come out, someone's parked behind me. It's kind of, um, I don't know if it'll get warmed up enough to, um, just the air fuel mixture is off and it leaks a little on the carb. That's why on the carb, if the carb is replaced, it's perfect, but 
Huh? Yeah, it needs the ball joint things on the. Let me get a charger. Let me get a. And that's the one thing that someone like Josh was halfway decent at sometimes. Was, hey Josh. Make sure there's air in the tires. That's Nathan what? I was a when I was younger. Yeah. She was. She's a church girl and everything, always there. I'm going to hell. Now I'm going to hell. I feel down. I had to go repent. It took me a little longer, I had to repent. It took me a little longer, I had to repent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told Andrea to forgive me there. It took me an extra minute. I had to repent in there for my line. <laughs> I'm gonna go get the. Can you swap? Yep. Can, I'm gonna go grab the paperwork. I'll be right back. Looks like to turn on on that thing. On what thing? You know she sent us the paperwork, right? Oh, you got paperwork? Yeah. Oh, that makes it easy. I got the title. Yeah, she sent us something. Okay, I got the paper. I got the title, so I okay. don't have to use this. That save us some definite time. Um, no, it's on. Oh, what? It wasn't coming out? Just, oh, no, no. What? Let me see. Oh, is it um, turning on a thing? Yeah. Oh, it needs to set. It needs yeah. to be set again. Um, Phillips. I'll try and grab one. It's okay. It's yeah, it's just not on there enough, I think. It's getting a little juice now. It's getting a little juice now. We'll get some juice in this fucker. Grab a little. Grab a little gas. He's gonna dink around with it and he won't start. When it kiss some juice, it needs a lot more cranking amps. And, and I got some gas, we'll throw it in at the last second. See that's, you know what bro? I'll just be completely honest. You can see right now, that's why it needs a curb. Yeah. And with the whole trying to jack it on there without running right and hoping we don't catch on fire under the hood, it might be a lot better off to pay 40, 50 bucks and we'll get a tow truck and I'll just split it with you and I'll have him come in here and put it on a bed and load it on your trailer. Let's do that. And then we won't go forward into your truck or nothing <laughs> and we won't catch this on. I'd hate to catch this on fire. Yeah, Let's just do that. That's fine. And that's, that is the main run. Well, besides you see the obvious, like we talked about, the tires, the wheels being. Yeah, I know. But that's, man. If you're replacing the motor, it's not worth buying a car, but the car we'll will make this thing run now. like new. Yeah, It'll make it run now, awesome. I'll get the right motor, you know? All of my guys go through it. No sense in starting. 
May as well. Or got it charged if you want to hear it. Yeah, I would like to. It's pretty healthy, man. It's really healthy. I, I believe it's not been... And I don't think it's the kind of miles where it just set for 30 years or something. Yeah. I think it's set for the last, like, three before I got it, and then four or five more. And we've... At first, it ran around a lot a little bit, and then after that, we finally swapped the carbs on it, but this one wasn't a good one either. Yeah. I mean, you could go through it and replace the accelerator pump, bunch of dumb... But 300 and something dollars is brand new, warranted. Yeah. Um... We're just going to tow it down. Onto the trailer? It's too hard to get it. Onto the trailer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. We could try it. I just, uh, if it goes, I mean, it's... It's not worth risking it, honestly. Yeah. Hey, I stole this from my ex. See, this one, this one's the thing too, actually. <laughs> Hey, I got this to where I can see it, and like I don't step on it and stuff. We need to get a tow guy to put this on his truck and put it on a trailer. It's either the guy we usually use, if you can get a hold of him, or if you can get someone um, off a of Craigslist or whatever, I don't care. And I'll ask you, I've got the thing signed off, I think Matt signed off on the title. So, that's it? I just have the buyer sign the title on the bottom? Oh. Top A? That's a dealer reassignment. I'm going to write Zach was here. No, Hello? I didn't know what you meant by your text. I didn't know I sent a text. Just get me a tow truck guy. Okay, I'm working on it. Bye. Bye. Hey! Do I get down off there, dude? What the hell are you doing? You can do something. Give me the five numbers off that odometer. You know what an odometer is, right? It's under the steering wheel. There's five numbers in the car. See if he can figure it out. You know, my little nieces, they can't, um, I didn't realize this. Your kid might be about the age where he can't either, but they can't open them handles. Oh. They never develop the muscles for it. They, everything goes like this now. It's all pull. I never, and my little nieces sit out there, they sit out there for three minutes trying to get in my Jeep. I couldn't believe it. Finally, when one of them inside, they let the other one in. Okay, no tense. Four five four five zero. Okay, here he goes. I'm gonna get a couple pictures of it as we're doing it. This guy's good though, man. He backed right in here. Our margin for error just went down a hundred fold. Oh, yeah. I don't know, man. He's he's pretty hot rod tow truck driver, ain't he? <laughs> this guy's something else, man. <laughs> Fucking a, right out into the road. <laughs> Sorry about the language. Wow. Well, we got an accident out here too. No, he ain't, dude. So this guy ain't no joke, man. He is lowering it down onto here. He's something else. Now probably the gas station's gonna get all pissy because I'm out here. That's just part of life, is getting pissy sometimes. Oh, is it really? Man, he's good.
some more pictures here for a second. This guy's good, man. We got all kinds of stuff happening around here. This ain't no joke of a day. By the time I was doing what I was doing, this guy already had this thing shot back. It don't, it don't get much easier, Greg. <laughs> you want it back a little bit or you like it there? You want it back more or? I think it's good, right? I think a lot of weight's on the back. Maybe if you could go back six, push on the tires maybe? Yeah, we push a little farther than you get your engine in the front. You want to go back so it's a little bit low on your thing. I think about there. I'll go, I'll go put it in gear. It's a lot better than it was. We can go a little bit more if you want. I think that's about it. Thanks for the compliment, my friend. Oh, yeah, a man, thank you. <laughs> <It's> a... <laughs> yeah, I think that's perfect. They're fine. These tires are all inward, so... Now, does she know. pay you on the phone? Have you got to talk to him? Oh, or... I need to talk to him. Okay, okay. Is that all right the way it's sitting? Let me see. <laughs> I like it. What do you think about the way this is sitting? I like it. Definitely fine. It's what I like. You need to lift that thing up right there, bring it all the way up and just tie it down. You're good to go. Do you want me to help you tie it down? Could you? Yeah, no problem. Good job. For the uh, everything. I'll write your receipt, okay? Okay. Well, you're going to write one for my office. So. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> way to load a truck. It doesn't run right so I mean geez it would suck to go and T-bone the back of it. What do you pull? You got a fifth wheel or what? Yeah. How long? 43. That's bigger than mine by a bit. That might be deaf. We like it on the truck. Deaf. Is that deaf? Oh, I bet, yeah, that's what it is. But I don't know what's scratching. I don't either. It's oh. probably, probably your kid here going around writing and everything. I don't, I don't write. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just kidding. Trying, to hurt, trying to think, what was put back here? Oh, maybe when you put the snack bin in there after the game last night. That's the only thing that was put towards this area. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Big Bad Classic Jeep is gone. Big Bad Other Classic Jeep is gone. And my friend Andrea and her husband Greg are here. Well, I guess they can both be my friends. I just don't know Greg as well yet. <laughs> now the lines on that truck is so straight. This guy's good. He's doing everything for him. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that is your. Yeah, yeah, but they don't lock in. They're all. They're. Yeah, you got two high, four high, and four low on the stick. I'll tell you what. Coming down from back there, I haven't seen it from a long ways out in the open in years because everything's all stuck yeah. around it. The lines going down that truck, down the center oh, line, yeah. is so straight, yeah. man. 
I mean, that's almost why it'd be such a shame to paint it because it's just I know. Weld up in little spots. Yep. Scuff it up a little bit. Let it sit for a year. But you, like you had an idea with a newer motor. That is, that's that's hard to beat, man. It is. Turnkey reliability. Hard. That's yeah. hard to beat. I mean, it's hard to get rid of an original motor too. Right. That's why they make engine stands, though, right? That's true. But then again, it's a lot of, a lot of money to convert. There's a little alley. Is that? That does or doesn't run to be able to do that? Runs great, but it, the tranny is not good enough to get it there. And if you guys don't want to come down on something like that, I make you a deal to try to stop it by. I just take my truck and trailer to the auction instead of a car. It just takes more gas or whatever. If you look on, um, if you put an ad on Craigslist up there, there might be someone like there is here. Here you can get a three month warranty pick and pull transmission for 250 to 450. And there's guys that'll throw them in for about the same. But also if you went somewhere where you get it rebuilt professionally for 1500 bucks, you're solid and you got a warranty. Versus the other one, pro it could, it's a crapshoot. It could last 10 years, it could last a year. Join it. Pick, pick and pull. pull. Like yeah, you never know. The other one, you've got a brand new tranny warranty type thing. But they're not all that difficult. If you look on, um, if you look on eBay, you look on a couple places online. Some people sell them shipped right to you um, for six hundred to eleven hundred. You find somebody for three hundred bucks to throw it in, done deal. And I know it's a. Did you know somebody to do the transmission? We can replace it. We don't really know. Well, I think the best way to do it would be to replace a, it, right? He's got a guy down here that's cheap, right? Well, he was, what you say, there's, you can find somebody The other ones are eBay. eBay, you can get one for 6 to 12 with the uh, 5 year 50,000 different things. Yeah. Just depends on eBay, Audi A4 transmission. So, there, that's another way to do it, too is if you have somebody that you know. 96 or 08, that's why it looks so new, because they made it from 96 to 08. Yeah. Alright, you got one last strip, strap, you can use as a, you know, a four-pump tie-down. Well, there you go. You're welcome. Let me write my receipt up, that way, before you take off, that way I have it for my office, okay? You want to sign it? Yeah. Take a rush right there. No. I got one all the way in the back. Welcome to it. Don't turn too sharp. You hit for sure. It's getting close. What's wrong? If you turn too sharp, you smack your truck. You got to turn pretty sharp though. You know what? That key's on. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was just thinking that. Here's the ignition key. Are you kidding? That's the ignition key? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a little locker key. Dude, that looks like a key to the trailer. Uh -huh. yeah. See you guys. Have fun. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Dude, I'll take that receipt. <laughs> okay. I got no uh, VIN or license. Are you okay with that? Oh, yeah. Put a name there or whatever. Montana. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe no. Fine with me. Now my boss is happy, so you know what I mean? Sign somewhere? He already signed right okay. there, so I'm just going to put 8811116 cash. It's initial right there. I used to collect baseball cards, now I collect receipts for the government. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. I'm here. Anytime you want to put. Yes, sir. I like that guy. Thanks. Yeah, you should get his number. That guy's awesome. Yeah, she's got him down. Yeah, he did the whole deal. Loading, strapping it down for you too and everything? Shit. Well, thanks a lot. Alright. Have fun. Don't be writing on this truck, dude. Just because it's old. I know you are, dude. I've seen that. That's why I'm saying something. 
Jeez. Okay. Yeah, have fun. If you want the Audi or something, let me know. I'll do whatever. Yeah, yeah our birthday's on Monday. We gotta figure something out. This Monday? I'm just looking at different ones, yeah. And so, he had one in mind from one of the guys at his work, but what he's gonna have to do to that is probably, it'll come out about the same as getting that and doing the car in. That's the, on that kind of a car, that's the weakest point on the Maudis is their trannies. The trannies always go. Awesome, man. Have fun. Call me if you guys need anything. Don't turn, sir! I know you know that. I'm just going to keep saying it, man. Okay, that's the deal. They are out of here. They're out of here. Okay, so this time you're out of here, but your daughter could be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Remember Audi 5000? Yeah. Remember people saying Audi 5, I'm Audi 5000? Yeah. Yeah, that was the saying back in the 80s. I'll yeah, bet he, he, He's how old? He's 47. He remembers I'm Audi 5000. He for sure remembers that. See, if this is your brother, I'd have took the truck and left while he was in there. Yeah, I was, like, full on, he just hits me right there. Thank God I didn't have any of the kids because that's where Elijah sat. You really can't tell. No. There's certain things, like, there's a little rattle here that we'll hear, and, but... I told her, I said, right now you're out of here, but your daughter could be out of here. Okay. You remember I'm out of 5,000, don't you? Absolutely. She doesn't remember that. I, don't know. I think she's lying just to make it the things that were, she's younger or something. Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Not at all. <laughs> Have fun. See ya. Yeah. Fun stuff. Good truck. I'm glad it went to somebody who's going to appreciate it and enjoy it. Because that is one fine vehicle. That's all there is to say about it. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I am done with this video. Be educated. <laughs> um, when I say everything, I mean everything. So down to a transmission pan gasket. You know, and I'm not really certified in any of the, the car fields. Yeah. I know that you said you weren't looking for anyone that necessarily be certified, but I do know how to, you know, transmission pan gasket, uh, fuel filters, fuel pumps, and I have actual cool. experience from doing this. Uh, door panels, buying and selling cars. Um, the office, Where are you located? Um, running a business, the current business, uh, wholesaling eBay, uh, electronic parts, home repairs, where, web design. Where are you located? I'm in Kansas, Overland Park, Kansas. Okay, yeah, definitely send it to me again. I got a, I got a guy here I'm taking care of on a truck it been loaded before. Well, it's dark now, but definitely uh, send it send it to me again. That your Facebook or that email again, and I'll look. But um, I'll get it for sure on Facebook. I'll definitely send it to you again. I, I just okay, really Don. hope that you at least look at it, man. Thank sure, you. yeah, uh, definitely. And call me back in a couple of days if you don't hear from me. I'll look tonight. Please, all right, you have a good one. Have fun. Yeah, nice looking guy. You guys have redone this parking lot about 14 times now. As long as they don't block me in, I'm good. I'm going to go to my friend's place. You're not locking me out, right? You're not going to lock me out, right? No, no, no. Okay. Need this time right here. Okay. Awesome, man. Okay. It's going to go like diagonally to this, and then you'll be able to come out this way. Though. I'm going to come in. I'm just yeah. going, I'm going there. Okay. Have fun. Nice guy. Okay. Come here. We ain't gonna like it for very long, though. All right. One owner car guy. Ownercarguy.com. Damn it, I ain't getting out of this fast enough. No, run on my cord. I like it. Please don't be on my cord. I like it. Okay, I'm washing this for the umpteenth time. Umpteenth? Yes. You need a battery for that. Man, the hood's up. Oh, loud.
Well. No hood latch. That's right. This dash is pretty cracked there. It's one of the worst things. This car's clean. It's only got 28,000 miles on it. It's set up beside the guy's place. For quite a while. I don't know what that goes over. Oh! It's missing the, um... That piece. Because of the... Hey, now! I thought that went there because it was, um, stuck to that glue. I'm like, that is the oddest place for that. And it was. Let's go there. Oh, backwards. Just stick it back like this, but all in all, it's what needs to happen for now. So, in here, look at this, it's even got the covers on the insides. So, essentially, oh god, the doors are tight. Essentially, it's ready to go. You can do a regular wash. Now, we had a board laying in here. 2 by 4 type thing. See, there is a latch on it, isn't there? Yeah, but it's not going to be... Well, you would think... gonna suck is I have no way to hold it down for my pictures. <sighs> Man, I could tie around this, put some bailing wire through there. Maybe I should step other cars in front of it. Nah, I can't, man. If I didn't have two of them setting, shit, I've got four of them setting. Either trailer or a motorhome that I could sell my truck for enough to pay almost almost pay off the motorhome with. And uh, because I make a lot of trips to Mayo Clinic. And then I make trips from Boise down to Salt Lake to see my uh, doctors down there. So it would be easier, I think, if we had uh, a vehicle. What I'm really wanting to have, well, actually, you had one on here that was quite interesting. You don't have any prices, so I don't know what they are. Well, this is an RV Motorhome Classic Vintage Camper Shasta. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff that's on there. Everything that's on there is videos of cars that I've had and they're sold. It's not stuff that I have anymore. Um, These are all sold? But I have a... Oh, bummer. <laughs> I have a lady I can turn you on to that's got a um, really nice one she redid to be a um, mobile salon. And um, she's actually close there and right up in Montana. But. A mobile salon? Yeah. What's yeah. that? A mobile salon, like a beauty shop? There you go. 
Uh, you know what? Like I said, I can turn you on to her, but I'm not going to go over it over and over and over and, and confirm for you what I say. So if you want me to give her your number, I can. And she's got it in this pretty cheap unit and reliable. And she's been restoring it and doing things for years on it. Okay. Is this a, this is a trailer or a motorhome? It's an RV. Motorhome. Well, I'll give her your number and stuff and let her know. Um, oh. And she'll give you a oh. ring. What's your name? Uh, my name's Charlotte Nolan. That's right. Okay, Charlotte. Her name's Valerie. Your name is what? Her name is Valerie. Oh, her name is Valerie? Yeah, she's my barber, my style. Well, I say barber because I'm old school and they have a barbershop pool where I'm supposed to go, but she's a stylist, so. I get it. <laughs> um, if you find... Do you have anybody who has a very small camper? But I'd like to have. I have this. Wheel. I have this. Is what I have, and I'll let her know you're looking, and maybe she can send you pictures, and you guys can hook up. Maybe you're interested. But okay. thank All you. Right. Have a great day. Yep. Uh huh. When you try and help, it then takes longer than it ever would. Just saying, fuck you.